Welcome to our presentation on the clinical features of hypertriglyceridemia, led by Dr. Adebola Adedeloye. This session will explore the various manifestations of elevated triglyceride levels in the body. Hypertriglyceridemia can be asymptomatic or present with skin issues like eruptive xanthomas, eye conditions such as lipemia retinalis, gastrointestinal problems including acute pancreatitis, and cardiovascular risks like metabolic syndrome. To remember the key manifestations of hypertriglyceridemia, use the mnemonic PAIR. Pancreatitis, eruptive xanthomas, asymptomatic presentation, and retinal lipemia. Many patients with mild to moderate hypertriglyceridemia are asymptomatic. This condition is often discovered during routine lipid screenings and may remain undiagnosed for years unless complications develop. Eruptive xanthomas are yellowish papules, often with a red halo found on the back, buttocks, and extensor surfaces. They are associated with very high triglyceride levels and can be itchy or tender. Here, we see images of eruptive xanthomas, which are characterized by clusters of small, firm, waxy papules. These lesions are typically painless but may cause discomfort. Tubero-eruptive xanthomas are firm, red-yellow nodules that can be solitary or grouped, often appearing on elbows, knees, and buttocks. They develop gradually and can be several centimeters in size. These images depict tuberoeruptive xanthomas, showcasing their larger size and more gradual development compared to eruptive xanthomas. They often appear inflamed and multilobulated. Xanthoma striata palmaris presents as orange-yellow discolorations of the palmar creases. This condition is pathognomonic for dysbetalipoproteinemia. The image illustrates Xanthoma striata palmaris, highlighting the distinctive orange-yellow discolorations on the palms, which are indicative of underlying lipid abnormalities. Less common skin manifestations of hypertriglyceridemia include tuberous and plain xanthomas. These can occur in conditions like familial hypercholesterolemia and dysbetalipoproteinemia. Tuberous xanthomas are large and firm, elongated nodules most commonly found over the extensor surfaces of joints, such as elbows, knees, buttocks, while plain xanthomas appear as flat or slightly raised lesions, often around the eyes. Tendon xanthomas and xanthelasma are less common manifestations of hypertriglyceridemia. They are often seen in familial hypercholesterolemia or mixed hyperlipidemia. Tendon xanthomas are waxy nodules near tendons, while xanthelasma are yellowish deposits around the eyelids, often linked to high cholesterol. This slide contrasts skin features in hypercholesterolemia versus hypertriglyceridemia. Eruptive xanthomas are typical in hypertriglyceridemia, while tendon xanthomas, tuberous xanthomas, xanthelasma, are more common in hypercholesterolemia. Lipemia retinalis is characterized by a creamy white appearance of retinal blood vessels, observed when triglyceride levels exceed 2,000 mLODL. It can impair visual acuity in severe cases. The image shows lipemia retinalis, where the retinal blood vessels appear creamy white due to extremely high triglyceride levels potentially affecting vision. Acute pancreatitis presents with severe epigastric pain, radiating to the back, nausea, and vomiting. It is common when triglyceride levels are 500 to 1,000 milligrams DL, requiring urgent medical attention. Metabolic syndrome is defined by criteria such as abdominal obesity, high triglycerides, low HDL cholesterol, elevated blood pressure, and high fasting glucose, increasing cardiovascular risk. Metabolic dysfunction-associated steatotic liver disease, MASLD, is often asymptomatic, but linked to elevated liver enzymes. Managing hypertriglyceridemia is crucial to prevent progression to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis and liver fibrosis. Thank you for watching. For more information, see our video presentation on managing hypertriglyceridemia. Don't forget to like and subscribe for updates.